They're yeah. not going to be helpless. No, they're not. Um, so they're going to start on Dreamland. Uh, do you think they're going to go to Battlefield if Game 1 doesn't go as well as they hope? Uh, that's what we saw against uh, Cobra, or against Dark Horse and, Bro and uh, exactly. Josh. Exactly, and Brody. Yeah, Josh. I could see them doing it again here, though. Yeah, I would not be surprised. Yeah, so immediately a slightly slower start. Oh my gosh, they are both being edge guarded really hard. They, I yeah, mean, but they both make it back on yet. stage. <laughs> but uh, uh, yes, you know, they took a lot of damage. That's for Hydra it. the ghostly Mario. Uh, Hydra is a solid Mario. Oh yes, exactly. Hydra's a ghostly. Uh, 2P. Yeah, and and he can't get over to try to help his brother. Oh, but they're really good at just separating them, holding the stage, and just forcing the edge guard that never ends. Yeah, that's that is the game plan that we've seen from them. Just force the two one v ones and edge guard until they die. They don't need a second game plan. They don't need a backup. They just need to execute yeah. it a little bit better if it doesn't work. I mean, that is an age-old aphorism from fighting games from the dark from the dark ages. Do it until it stops working. Exactly. Do it until they prove. Yeah. That it's not gonna work. As long as it works, do it. Absolutely. Yeah, and I've I've already seen a couple whiff up smashes from uh the Mario's. Yeah, from the Mario's. And like I said, I don't like that. That means they're not on point. Interesting. Fukuro going for a back air instead of a down air there. I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're not on point. It could also mean that Japan is like faint, like baiting them and causing a faint that forces them to throw it out. They yeah, wouldn't but put I it mean, entirely if, on the Mario's. If they don't have the reads like that right there, yeah. just. Up smash to get grad. No, exactly. Then that that they're gonna mind, need to adapt. Yeah, that in my mind is beating is not being on point. Yeah, no, it's fair. Especially when you're Mario. Yeah, and when you're Mario, you have to get a good read before you throw at highly middle moves. Right. It's the the risk reward that Mario really yeah. has. Nice. Yeah. So so there, uh, Hydra just stayed on stage and let the red team fight him. Which is all he needed to do to protect Kimimaru while he was coming back, and and like I, I, I really like that he saw that red team was like had had their eye on him. Oh no, Fukuro oh got God. fireballs. He wants it. This he is this is terrible news for red team <laughs> or for blue team. The last thing you want to give Fukuro is a projectile. Yeah. Now, I, I will say when I was talking to Team Japan earlier, one of the things they said was that they thought that Mario and Fox were a lot better if, if you have team attack off. And that Pikachu is a lot better with Team Attack on, because sure. uh, otherwise your projectiles are like totally safe. You can just send them in. Yeah, nonstop. You could just rain uh, fury and fire. Yeah. So Fugoro going projectiles with a. Uh, oh. Meanwhile, with Team I, Attack I, on. I really. Oh, there we go. I was about to say he hasn't thrown a single fireball. That was his first one. I think it was the second one actually. Oh, okay. But I don't blame you. I don't blame you for not missing it. It's yeah. just he doesn't play uh, a lot of his neutral. He will edge guard with fireballs, but he really isn't playing neutral. Yeah, that, that was nice. Team Japan with six stocks. Yeah, very dominant. <laughs> They're fighting each other. Yeah. And Tiddy Crack is sing like a smile. <laughs> yeah. It is like a back to that kill. It doesn't even smirk. He's just like, yeah, it's a day in the life. <laughs> yeah, so the the Mario team having a having a rough time of it, you can see they're talking it over. Yeah. And they're uh, they're trying to figure out what to do against this team. It's really tough. I think we will probably see a stage switch. I think Battlefield. Uh, yep, yeah, we're going to Battlefield. Yeah. Three, two, one, go! All right, good neutral coming in here. Oh, oh, and you know what? I don't think we've seen their their double fireball since that play at the beginning. Good call. Yeah. Something that uh definitely works. I need to start the neutral strong. Yeah, and again, that was uh that was Kimi Mara just sort of holding their attention on the right side while It was came really back good. Left. Using a fireball to deal with one and you know hitboxes to deal with the other. Yeah, and and again, like if you're if you're coming back, then the other team can afford to ignore you, that's true. Yeah. But given the spacing that they had. Oh, really smart. It just barely clipped him with the with the down air. Yeah, once his invincibility ran out. Yeah, so I'm I'm wondering if similar to their game against the Brody Bunch, we will see uh we will see the Mario Brother twins sort of pull it together. Yeah, I think this is the stage that definitely benefits them, where they can play their game much more. They're playing neutral definitely well. Yeah, and they're the game is close so far. They they haven't 
Wow, really good. Yeah, they still haven't managed to clinch any stocks from Red Team. And, no, uh, but and they're Kimimaru not. Was so. And there we go. Fukuro again gets the projectiles. Yeah, and I like that he's being a bit more fireball friendly. Uh, Fukuro. He understands that, you know what, like, it's really good. Man, everybody is living a super long time here. Yeah. Yeah, no time for a safety fireball from Kimimaru. Wow. Yeah, Mario's gonna want to close out a uh, stock. It's just hard to cover the recovery. Yeah, that, oh, was, that, that was excellent stage uh, stage control by Blue Team, where they had like the one guy sort of right above the right platform, and the, and the other guy just to the left of the right. Yeah, platform. covered all of the uh, quick attack options. Yeah, they were they were both running interference and applying pressure to the ledge. Oh, that was a close. I would have liked that back throw fireball into another punish. Uh, it was close for working out. No, no man. Definitely will. Yeah, and from Hydra too. Uh-huh. That just makes it more imperative that Kimimaru try to hold oh. on to this extremely ripe stock. Yeah, Kimimaru is holding great stage position while that team uh, combo is happening. He's gonna wanna try? Yeah, he can't though. And oh, by going it. out, he ended up losing the stock. And great edge guard. Like, I, I, I can't respect the option. The red team is just too good. Yeah. And now blue team like, again is just on their hind foot. Okay. Yeah. So it's good to see them connecting up. Smash. That's it definitely is. You got a, just a read on red team's. Oh. <laughs> that cinder block coming in. Yeah, let's see this edge guard. Oh, oh okay. Uh, all, all the fear was all he needed. Yeah. Just run some interference. Yeah, that, that was not the greatest safety fireball. Yeah. yeah, another up smash. Yeah, so right. Those are those are really the things that tell whether they have a good movement rate or not. <laughs> wow. Yeah, another Dude, fireball to save, but unfortunately, uh, that's Kimimaru's last stock. Okay. Yeah, so four four stocks again. Yeah, blue team is is still struggling. They looked pretty good, but then red team just turned on the gas. Yeah, red team pulled ahead. They're, they said, you know what? Like, we're gonna force you on stage. We're gonna keep you off stage. Yeah, and that's really how you beat Mario. And that is true. It's like in in any team's environment, if you get one Mario off stage, then you're free to combo the other one. Absolutely, and get the other one off stage while the other one's off stage. That first one yeah. just got on stage from his recovery. You just keep it going. You know, no, I know, Rinse, so, rather I, repeat. I was talking earlier about how like one of the Marios would be holding the attention of, of the Japanese team, mm -hmm. but at the same time, the Japanese team doesn't need to pay attention to the other one. No, they really don't. So it's sort of six of one, half a dozen of of, of the other. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Oh, cool. FD. Yeah. So battlefield didn't work out. Try something else. Yeah. Honestly, I think it works because um, uh, Kyushka was surviving a lot with his uh, zip zaps to the side plaid and the top plaid. Um, so this just kind of streamlines it. Uh, it'll make fireballs more effective. Um, it'll get a bit of bounce to it as well. Yeah. It, it's also true that. Uh, Mario's gonna come from underneath most of the time anyway, so Red okay. Team doesn't lose much by losing the platform. Oh, those were, that was great one was one on one combo games on both sides of the stage from the Mario team. Yeah, Kim and Maru connected with both and then just knew, you know, the tacit understanding is I get this one to get together. Yeah. No. We, like, I'll get a combo on both, but we'll finish it off. Unfortunately, they didn't finish it off. Yeah. yeah, now they're really struggling. Yeah. It's so tough when uh, you start out in position. But at least Hydra is at a uh, not kill percent yet. Oh, Close. Kimimaru went for a safety fireball there and it almost worked. Nice. And that's the up smash that I like to see. Oh no, oh, yeah, from that Hydra! Was really bad. I, yeah, he did not want. Oh, what a save! But, amazing save! Yeah, but it, it, it wasn't actually a save. Yeah, well, he grabbed him right before the uh, hitbox came out, right? Yeah, but then the throw got him. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I think he was, yeah, it's a bad underwear. Yeah. He would have needed to basically yeah, so, like get hit to do a grab release. Or to not and he the got throw. the reverse that was amazing. Leg That's so clutch. I feel like he went for it once and he didn't get it. He went for it again and that time he got it. Yeah, I mean, you're not losing out by not, you know, by going for it. You know, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but if it works, that's just a game changer. Great uh, anticipatory up B to intercept Kyushka. 
And let's see the team combo. Oh, good zip out. Oh. Yeah, oh, and, almost and, and this is the point at which the Japanese team tends to pull ahead if they're gonna. Stocks are about even three, three on all the characters. That forward smash was surprisingly effective. Just uh, it covered the ground and, in the air. Again, oh my first ledge DI. It doesn't really save him that time. And again, they get pineapple. They're not used to this stage. Yeah, it's a song. Oh, just a little bit of drift yeah. out. That, you know, you didn't need that. And Mario's really magnet is bad, but it's not that good. Yeah, of course. It's not a great hit drift. And now he's just taking this slow game, trying to separate Kim and Maru, and they're just going the double 1v1s. I mean, that's the approach that they've been taking, and it's been working. They've been doing it to different degrees of, um, like, how much they want to commit to that game plan. This game in particular, they're doing it a lot. Okay. And another attempt at a safety fireball. Oh! It's gonna be a Okay. Oh, and, uh, yeah, so, so, yeah, Hy Hydro went for, uh, for Fu- or for Ko- for, for Fu- for Kyoshiki yes. instead of Fuko. Kyoshiki is the Pikachu. Yes, exactly. Oh, great I, I think that might have cost him a stock on Fuko. Oh no, this is gonna be rough for Kimamaru. Oh, he just- is that an extended? Uh, Regardless, yeah, super that's, clutch on B. Yeah, that, that was a mix-up. I don't think he touched. Does he have the double jump? He does. Oh, he does. Oh, but Fuguru kills yeah. himself in order to uh, intercept. Yeah, he, he forces a trade, but at this stock count, that how much does it matter? Yeah, it says, you know, three stocks, but that's including the uh, that SD at the end in order to take the final stock of Kimamaro. Yeah, team attack is on in North America. <laughs> it really is. Again with the DI. DI. We just have not been missing any of this DI. Oh no, but no double jump. Yeah, and Hydra is not giving up. Oh! <laughs> he was trying to stay just outside of it. But wow. we see we see smiles on, on the twins' faces.